get all hooked up by today. Uh, Tommy was programming the client. I did the design and production and yelling at people as to when we would be done. Uh, we got a couple good play tests in. We got some feedback where somebody very complimentary said, this game wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> so it beats uh, when we, I got, we got the concept. Uh, when I did the pitch, it was basically thinking, you know, hey, what's something that would be interesting to hear beats wise? Uh, is this hooked up to anything? No. Uh, that's hooked up to me. Okay, excellent. So, so let's just dive right in. Oh, yes. Yeah. No, no tapping yet, just oh. listen. Familiar with the song? Yeah. Okay, now, from memory, Go ahead and insert your scores, tap it out. Let me know when you got your scores recorded. Good? Okay, so now we're going to get the official timing. Only wrote the only one that I have ever known. Subtract uh, one to ten from your BPM, and I'm going to go down just one to get to eighty-one. Okay, so your play, what you got? Okay, I'm going to play Shake It. All players must add or subtract a modifier to their BPM, and the number is adding. Uno, which is Spanish for one more card. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> as we all know. Uh, so, you know, that's the game. And you play three rounds of it, and whoever has the highest score after three rounds wins. The information that you get from the heartbeat when it's going correctly, which is apparently after it decides and thinks about it for a little while, uh, makes a really interesting interaction where you can, you know, if somebody's beating really fast, you're wondering if they're going to play a divide by two. If somebody's going really slow compared to the song, you have to wonder if a multiply by two is coming up. But it doesn't provide you any of the direct information of exactly what your BPM is. So that kind of interaction of getting that incomplete information was a lot of fun for us. And uh, yeah, it was a fun experience. And I'm glad that we have a game that people who are blind can actually play. Mm -hmm. Nice. Let's have to restart. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, deaf people are right out, but uh, we'll have a flashing light eventually. So that was it. Thank you. Thanks.